All right, this video goes out to my homegirl, Samantha, who wanted to know, how do I take an image in Photoshop or Photopea, make it black and white, but then put the eyes back in color? Well, I got you, Samantha, and I'm gonna tell you right now. We're gonna go to Open From Computer and open up an image we wanna work on, so click on this, and let's find a photo. Let's see, I got one right here, actually, that will work just great. And what I'm gonna do is come in here in Photopea, Click on this little black and white circle at the bottom of the layers panel and click on black and white. This is gonna pop up and we're gonna edit our black and white. You can see anything that is red in the photo gets brighter or darker as I move the red slider. Anything that's blue in the photo gets brighter or darker as I move the blue slider. So I'll just edit this real quick and then just make this dude go away by clicking on that little pro button right there. And look here in my layers panel, you got this little thing right here called an adjustment layer. And you've got the layer itself and then this little white box that's called a layer mask. I'm gonna click on the white box or the layer mask to make sure it's selected. Then I'm gonna come over here to the toolbar on the left hand side and I'm gonna find my brush tool. It's this one right here. If you can't find it, you could always just press B on your keyboard to select it. And you can see when I put my cursor out over my photo, I got that little tiny circle. It's because my brush is really small right now. If I right click, I can change the size of that. As I make the size bigger, my brush gets bigger. And what I wanna do is change it so that the size of that brush is about the size of my eyeball right there. So I'm gonna check, just play around with that, maybe a little bit smaller like that. And then the hardness is how hard the edge of the brush is. And if that doesn't make any sense to you, that's fine. Just put it at about, I don't know, let's say 20% and then press enter. Don't press enter, press escape to get that to go away. Now, very important before we move on, I wanna make sure this front box right here is black. So the easiest way to do that is just to click on those little dudes right there and then click on that little thing right there to switch those colors right there. So now that my front box is black and now I'm going to zoom in. So I gotta to switch to my zoom tool real quick and I'm gonna zoom in on my eyeball there then switch back to my brush tool and watch what happens when I paint with black. You can see it's going to start bringing things back into color. Now, I know that's not what you want to do, Samantha, but I wanted to show you what the, what we can do with this. So switch back to my brush tool there, and I'll be a little more careful on this one. Now, I obviously got too much, right? So I want to undo, I want to get rid of the part that's not supposed to be in color. Well, all I got to do is switch this to white, and you can actually just press X on your keyboard. That's the keyboard shortcut right there. And now I'm going to make this brush a little bit smaller, and I'm going to come in here and just very carefully Using a white brush, I'm gonna paint away anything I didn't want to be in color. So I'll just take the time to go around and get this looking just right using a white brush. And guess what? If I make a mistake and accidentally go like that and put that back in black and white, guess what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna press X and switch again. And there you go. So X again to go back to white and just keep coming around and anything that shouldn't be in color, I'll paint with white. Anything that should be in color, I'll paint with black. All right, so that's it. Now I'm just gonna come up here and go to File. I can either choose Save as PSD or Export as. Real quickly, Samantha, if I save as PSD and I wanna come back and edit it later, these two layers will both still be here. So just gotta decide, Am I gonna? are you gonna to wanna to edit this again some other time? If you are, save as PSD. If not, choose export as and choose JPEG, and that will save it down to your computer as a JPEG. There you go, hope that helped.